Welcome back to Business Today. Now on my market story today, we feature Wamuyu Maina, who quit her job as a PR specialist and now is minting thousands from washing carpets. We might as well call this her carpet story. Take a look. Creative carpets, hello. My name is Wamoyo Maina. I run and own Creative Carpets Farm. Yeah, so it's along Kambu Road inside Shark's Palace Hotel. Most people will tell me I want to dispose my carpet and I'll tell you bring it to the spa. You see the way you take your body to the spa and you come out feeling new, revived. That's what we do to the spa. Because we treat it, we condition it, we shampoo it and, and the spa comes back. Initially I just had a car wash. We would wash manually using the brush, you know. But uh, during cold season, I would find we are struggling so much to dry the carpet. We would stay with the carpet for two or three weeks without drying. So at that point, we were asking, is there a way that this carpet can just dry instantly? I did the research and uh, I came around the carpet dryer. I was given an order for 14 carpets and then she was, do this and then I will give you more. But I wasn't able to do it because three weeks no one wants to give you their carpet. That's a cold house. Once I realized that I needed to get a machine and the research started, even getting the machine, machine getting to us was not a hectic process. Everything ran smooth. The only problem or rather the challenges were assembling the machine, getting technicians, that was the hassle that I went through because once the machine was here, we stayed for like three weeks without washing because we couldn't figure out one plus one. This particular machine, you can't find it locally. It's all imported. If you look for a technician, they don't know. So it's, you call a Chinese, tell us what's happening here. He, and you look for an interpreter because they can't speak English. So you get a teacher, a Chinese teacher and a technician. The Chinese will say, Tell the teacher, the teacher will tell the technician, the technician will now know, you know what to do. Yeah, I've trained my workers uh, because I, I first got the lesson as number one. So for me, they have learned all of them. Inside Shark's Palace, there is Luna Park. It's a park for kids. So I brought my, me and my husband brought our child here to, it was on a Sunday afternoon. So we came with a dirty car and we were wondering if this place doesn't have a car wash. And of course we asked and we were told there's no car wash. So we tell the waiter, I want to speak to the director, my husband and I. And of course we are hooked up to the director, you know, we are, going, we are looking for a space. Initially we were not for here, but we are looking for a space, we want to put up a car wash. And he was like, well, we are considering, so I'll call you next week. Within one week, we had received a call. One, we underestimated even the costs, because we were saying, oh, car wash, 3,000, 3,000 is enough. The structure itself was like 200,000. Buying the chuma, the mabati, the lights, and then we bought a machine, a washing machine. You can get as cheap as 30,000, but I always say quality. So I went for the best quality. And then we, we have the stands for underwash. We have products, the detergent that we use for the interior car wash. Uh, that's a whole, another like 100,000. For someone to start a car wash, you just need space. The gun, the pressure gun, manpower, and soap. That's all. Even with 100,000, you can start. It depends on the standard that you want to set and where you are. I was employed. I resigned to concentrate here. So I'm, I've always been into business, and I knew I wanted to be here. And each time I would, I would come from work and come here, 
and I would find myself being so engaged and I would love to clean. I would love, to, I would wash cars. There are days I would wash cars the whole day on weekends. I would wash 18 cars by myself. We offer free pick and drop services. We pick on Monday, Wednesdays and Friday. That means we are 24-hour job. So my target are homes, offices, and every household has a carpet by now. Yeah. Uh, regret would be not doing enough research initially, because I had to redo a lot of things after finding out. So I think I, I just came in blindly, without so much information, without so much research. You'll find most car wash or most, you know, this kind of job, they will pay them on commission. But uh, after doing my evaluation, I decided to give them a retainer. I wake up, then come here around 9, 10, on not a very busy day. Uh, go to my office, get the report of the previous day, go through the previous day work. Uh, do the filling, whatever I need to fill from my system, do banking, and then um, go for lunch, come back. We wash together. By then, me and my staff, we wash carpets together. If I sit there and I see they are, they are looking a little bit lazy, I'll come and motivate them. That's why you will see me in my gumboots most of the time, because we are a team. What an inspirational story, quitting your PR job and venturing into business.